money is a tool. It's an energy system. Um, whether we use it for bad or good, it's completely up to us. It's the choices that we make with our money. Mm-hmm. And you can make money with integrity. You can make money with honesty. And again, it's just a tool. It, but money does have energy. And, it's, and let me say this about money too. And I think you guys, I definitely know you guys understand. Money is also a mindset. It's a confidence, but you have to understand it. There's basics to blocking and tackling. It's like learning any great sport or any great craft. You've got to learn the art of money. Basic accounting, cash flows, profitabilities, finance, budgeting, debt. I mean, you've just got to understand money. So there's that part. There's an educational part to money that we do. I think as a society, we don't do a good enough job at. We didn't do anything, me growing up, and it wasn't until I got into accounting school and college that I learned that. So I think money is a mindset. I think people have to have confidence with their money. So many people get rich from the lottery. Within three years, I think it's 90 plus percent are bankrupt. That's because there's no knowledge, there's no confidence, and there's no mindset. And you must believe that there's enough money out there. It's not for them to have, or those people over there have money, and we don't deserve money. That's a shame thing. We've got to watch that as well. So I don't think money is evil. I think it's, it can be used for great impact. I think it can be used. I mean, even what you guys are doing in your career and what I'm doing in my career is each and every day, you're building places for people to live in. I mean, what more could you want? I mean, that's safety, that's trust, it's their homes. It's a beautiful thing. And with me, helping people be the best versions of themselves in all phases of their lives, I mean, what more? And we all make really good money doing this and enjoy it. And so to me, money is not an evil thing. It's just what we do with it and the choices we make around it and how we earn it. And so that's what I would say to that. And then I also really appreciated when you just touched on the fact that uh, your money increased, you had this giant realization and you were able to completely alter your mindset, but you didn't lose your ambition. So I guess from a daily basis, how did your daily activities change if at all between like before and after the realization well they change significantly i'm a huge believer that you have to invest in yourself first Mm -hmm. i'm talking your mental health your emotional health your financial health and your spiritual health if that's important to you and so many of us put ourselves last you know we don't work out in the gym for our physical bodies we don't eat right we don't invest in our minds we don't invest in our hearts for me i spend two hours a day investing there a minimum so that means meditations, readings, gratitude journals, I'm in masterminds. You know, I'm not only a coach and I'm in masterminds, I have coaches. And so I'm constantly sharpening the pencil and I want to be held accountable to my value systems. And I just don't want to make money for money's sake. I've got a huge deal on the table right now. And every single sign says not to do this. My heart, my soul, my mentors. And so we're not going to do it. And it's a significant, you know, in the past, I would have chased that, right? That shiny object, but we're not going to do it this time. And it helps that I have that tribe around me. So to answer your question, I surround myself with people I look up to and want to be like, and that hold me accountable. I read every single day of my life, business books, inspirational books, self-development books, and books. There's biographies behind over my left shoulder of some of the greatest people on earth. You know, I want to learn from those people. Um, but it's a daily routine. And if you invest in yourself for an hour or less a day, you can truly go out and be the best businessman, best leader, best father, best husband that you can possibly be, but it takes work. It's like going to the gym. You got to build your mental, emotional muscles. You got to build your financial muscles. You got to build your knowledge muscles. You got to build your spiritual muscles or they atrophy. And if we're not growing in all phases of our life, we're truly dying in whatever phase. And human beings are a stew. And if you start taking ingredients out of that stew, the human being doesn't taste right. It doesn't run right. And our lives don't look right. And so it's about prioritizing and reprioritizing, but always investing in ourselves first. So that was one thing that I changed. One thing that I haven't honored recently that my mentors and accountants, not accountants, I've just got accountants all over me. My mentors and accountability partners are checking in with me on is rest, fun, and relaxation. We're so driven, kind of like you guys, you're on an upward scale of just, you guys are killing it right now and growing and growing and growing. That takes a lot of your time, a lot of your energy. Maybe it doesn't for you guys, for me it does. And we're in growth mode and I've got to honor rest, I've got to honor fun, and I want to enjoy building this movement, you know, the legendary life movement. And so right now, one of the things I'm struggling with is rest and fun. And so I've got people in my life who text me every day. We took yesterday off. 
They literally said, clear your calendar Wednesday and take Wednesday off. And we did. Now, I took the whole team out, which is fun. So it kind of felt worky, but at least we took the day off. So, yeah, that, the, the answer is to prioritize. I love, I think it was Warren Buffett who said, you know, rich people have money, wealthy people have time. I want as much time as I can possibly have because I don't know how much I have. So I'll just finish it with that. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching that clip. Join us every Friday morning at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for a live stream Q&A where we answer plenty of questions just like this one. In the meantime, consider subscribing to the channel if you want more of this content. And if you want to increase your deal flow, analyze properties better, and help me feed my family, click the link below for a free seven-day trial of PropStream.